In a musical that tackles some of the most controversial topics of today, Turlock Youth Performing Arts strives to be the best with the masterfully done, brilliantly written, amazingly performed, Legally Blonde the Musical. Yeah, you heard me. Starring me! And that guy. Plus these dogs, the back of this guy's head, and much more from the star-studded cast. Showing only last week, so be glad you lucked out now. Hello there, viewers, and welcome back to As Seen by Stott. I, uh, no, it's been a really long time. I've just been really busy with that thing that you just saw the trailer for. And then, you know, the trailer itself took me like seven hours to make because I'm just so fabulous with computers. <laughs> yeah, my name's Alexander, uh, the guy with body parts that rhyme with other things. And this is a Stott's Thoughts segment um, about what it's like to be in a pit for a musical. So, for those of you who don't know, a pit is a group of musicians um, who play the accompanying pieces of music with singers or something to that effect. You know, I was there for two months, I still haven't quite worked it out myself. Um, and we're told to wear black so that no one can see us. And uh, for some songs, we're even told to play so quietly that they, they can't hear us either. <laughs> Legally Blonde the Musical. Where do I start? Um, I had to play saxophone and clarinet for the music I was given. It was interesting. I'd uh, never played clarinet before the summer started, and I honestly can say that I still don't play it now. Sometimes I feel like I was playing this thing. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, the clarinet only has two notes, um, awful and silent. Sometimes I'd get out a third note, dying cat. But most of the time I just went with silent, because everyone told me it was the best I'd sounded all day. Uh, from what I remember, we worked about a hundred hours on the music in the pit, and, you know, it was actually quite fun. I know you probably didn't expect that. Uh, what? Alex having fun? That doesn't happen ever. That's not how it works. Uh, but don't worry, I'll tell you about all the terrible stuff in a second. Um, we whined and complained the whole time. But our great conductor didn't once try to kill me, and I give him props for that. But as for positives, that's about it. You know, as I poked fun at earlier, this musical is not some show that's going to change your life forever. Yeah, <coughs> <Lame is. coughs> It's very simple. It has some funny moments, though. Um, you know, it gets a little risque at other parts, but, you know, it's three hours of just entertainment. Um, it was a little pricey. Uh, $12 is a lot. But, you know, if it continues Taipa being able to provide shows for the community, then I'm all for it. Uh, we had four performances, and they all went pretty well, actually. Uh, there were some amplification issues with the mics that I know that everyone was freaking out about after the performances were over, but I'm just glad, personally, that I had the opportunity to play the saxophone for this event that I got that life experience. Clarinet, uh, you can go die. <laughs> I respect the instrument, I just can't play it. Never had one lesson. I complained more than someone my age should probably complain. Uh, so what are you gonna do about that? Um, but on that note, this is As Seen by Stott, just giving you an update into my life, um, and some thoughts that were going on and I'm going to be signing off, signing out, and shutting down. Because for those of you who don't know, the clarinet has only two notes. Clarinet? <laughs> because... I know, huh? Yeah, life in the pit is, is glamorous. Um, you know, and sometimes I'd get out a third note, dying cat. But most of the time I just went with silent, and everyone told me that that was how the best I'd sounded all day. So, I'm going to have to do that over again. 
So for those things, uh, you, you oh <laughs> shoot. Uh, yeah. Freaking cat, I hate you.